if you watched a previous video uh, on what's for dinner, our last dinner was actually how we hosted these amazing people that we love so much. And you guys, we stayed up so late. So late that by the time they were leaving, a girl did not have the strength or the energy to clean up. So <laughs> this is the morning after. And I'm just here trying to make sense of my life. Okay, as you can see, our kitchen is a mess. And I decided while I'm at it, I might as well clean my kitchen appliances. It's not so early because we slept in, because we slept late. And I was kind of hoping the kids would sleep in quite a bit. <laughs> But our last born decided, oh no, I shall leave my bed and come and sleep in the living room. Who am I to judge? Okay, so he's already up here. And yes, as you can see, <laughs> guys, I left everything on the yani. I just left it the way it was. But I'm glad because there is now no condemnation. Right, guys? Yes. <music> First of all, we don't even have enough dishes to have breakfast. So I need to first take care of all these dishes, wash them, put them away, and then I can make breakfast. Thankfully for breakfast, we're just going to have leftovers, whatever remained the previous night, or should I say morning. Because the kids went to sleep before we had dessert, quote-unquote. As I said, we stayed up late. So they haven't tasted the muffins, they didn't taste the fruit twist nut imagine up to now i don't know what it's called <laughs> i keep mixing up the names so that's what we're going to have for breakfast and all i'm going to do is to make some hot chocolate but yes in the meantime i just have to you know figure out this kitchen wash some dishes all that jazz Meanwhile, other Kenyans have woken up and <laughs> I'm glad they're able to keep themselves busy as this mama runs around trying to figure things out.
So now we are fed and ready to face the day. And when it comes to cleaning my kitchen, the first thing that I want to do, of course, after I've washed all the dishes and put them away, is to soak my cleaning cloth. Because you guys, you know how stinky these things can get. And I don't want to use a dirty cleaning cloth to clean my kitchen because I'm just going to be spreading all these germs everywhere. So I'm just going to soak it in some water and some vinegar. I'm telling you, it takes care of the odor and all those germs. And then once it is soaked for like 15 minutes, then I can feel comfortable using it to clean the rest of my house. For cleaning the washer, by the way, I've done an entire video on how to clean your washing machine, like to do a deep clean. But for now, I just want to wash the drum. Because even as I said in that video, you should, you should do it about every three months or so. <laughs> there's what you should do and then there's what I did. So anyway, <laughs> to wash it, I'm just going to put some, about a cup of baking soda or bicarbonate of soda and then some vinegar and then some essential oils to make it smell amazing. So I'm putting a few drops of peppermint and then I'm going to leave it washing. Use a warm wash if you can. And then it's just going to get rid of any odor and jams build up in your washer. Now my cleaning cloth is clean and super duper clean. Then I just remove it from the water. As you can see, it's disgusting. The color of this water, my gosh. My next kitchen appliance that needs some love is my kettle. Because look at it. It is so scaly, my God. Scalier than a fish. <laughs> I don't know. So to wash it, I'm just putting one cup of vinegar and one cup of water and I'm going to boil it and then I'll just leave it to stand for however long my soul desires. So I'll just soak it in that and leave it. Um, I think if you go to the Guinness World Book of Records and check up the world's dirtiest oven, <laughs> This is the one that you will find. <laughs> yes, I haven't cleaned it in ever so long. Oh my gosh. Please let me know down below how often you clean your oven. Because my gosh, mine is so dirty. So I bought this oven cleaner by the from a supermarket. I think it was Nivas or Nakuma. It's been a minute. Okay. So all I do is I'm going to spray it, spray it, spray it, spray it, spray it. Spray it. I wish I could spray the whole can because guys, this oven. And you guys know how I use my oven like every single day. <laughs> there is now no contact contamination so anyway i'm just going to spray it and then i'm going to leave it soaking for however long my heart desires hoping that the longer it soaks the more it's going to clean i don't know we'll see so as the oven and the kettle are soaking away and my washer is washing time to wipe down the counters the walls everything in the kitchen I'm really not doing a kitchen deep clean, although it's turning out to be one. I still intend to do a zone two cleaning for the fly lady system. In the meantime, I'm just doing what I can. Okay. Yes. Using my trusty method cleaner because hello, need I say more? When it comes to cleaning the microwave, all I'm going to put, by the way, this one 
that we clean quite often of all the appliances because we use it a bit. So I'm putting one cup of water, one cup of vinegar, and then squeezing like one lemon. Then I'm going to heat it in the oven for two minutes. Oh, oven in the microwave for two minutes. Then I let it to stand. Again, it seems like I'm just leaving everything to stand. But the longer they soak, the better in my opinion. On to the fridge. Um, the plan is to remove everything and wipe down and then put everything back. Apart from all the things that are growing legs and the experiments. Oh my gosh, you guys. Um, we are, this fridge is relatively new. If you watch the video on how we upgraded from the old video, from the old fridge, then you will see, yes, where we came from and where we are at. We are getting used to it. We actually like it a lot. But yes, I guess we still need to up our game when it comes to cleaning it. Check out that video, by the way. Very interesting stuff. And if you are enjoying this content, guys, remember to hit the subscribe button if you so desire. And don't forget to check out my skirt <laughs> that I bought. In, <laughs> I did a thrifting video. Yes, my modeling career, by the way, is really taking off, you guys. If you haven't checked out that video, oh yeah, I'm rocking this clothes, guys. So my cutie pie has decided that he is going to watch over the washer while it washes. I dare you to say that three times quickly. Anyway, <laughs> the rest of the kiddos are in class because we are homeschoolers if you're new here and if you're new here welcome we're so glad you're here My plan with uh, putting stuff back into the fridge is first of all confirm that it is still healthy for human consumption <laughs> and then all the leftover food that is there sometimes we just collect stuff I'm telling you oh my gosh so I'm going to put everything that can be eaten and is ready for eating on the top shelf all right and then uh, just tell our help that before we eat anything else let us first clear make sure this top shelf is clear yes and then yeah if you want to see how to store your food and your vegetables in your fridge so it lasts longer i've done an entire video which is very useful by the way please check it out Oh my gosh can you even with this oven oh my gosh oh <gasps> by the way one of uh my lovely subscribers told me how to open the oven door so i can clean in between because i had some streak of milk that was just it was in between the oven i don't even know how to describe it so very helpful information and that's what i'm doing with this screwdriver feeling like yeah i can do this girl power and all that jazz
So now that my kitchen is all sparkly and shiny, time to finish up with the washer because I, I, I ignored it for a while. So now, once it has finished cleaning itself, I'm just going to wipe the top, wipe the door, wipe everything, and then, of course, do a load of laundry because hello, morning routine. I know it's no longer morning, but you know. So if you're interested on where to get your laundry pods, you guys know even when it comes to keeping your washing machine clean, laundry pods are way better than powder because powder gets stuck all up in those crevices. The laundry pods, you will not have that problem. I will put a link down below for Tide Pods, Ariel, Persil, okay? And also scent booster so that your clothes can smell like rainbows and daisies and unicorns. You know, we've had this conversation before. So I'm going to put all those links down below. Even the amazing table mats that you're going to see in a minute. Yes, and a lot of nice stuff. So please check out, there's a pinned comment. When I say I will link it down below, it's in the description box. There's a small arrow facing down. And also when you go to the comment section, you will see a pinned comment comment by moi all right excusez-moi si vous play my french is finished yes see you there all right now it's dinner time because you all know we have to eat <laughs> for dinner i'm making chapatis from the frozen dough actually when i was doing the batch cooking video someone said please show us how you use the chapati dough that you make in advance and you freeze well you're welcome that's what we're doing right now so i just removed the dough from the freezer a bit earlier and then i realized i had removed it too early so i put it back in the fridge but it has thawed nicely so that's what i'm using to make it's just so easy by the way once it, your dough has thawed just go about it as if you just made it at that point the chapels tasted amazing you couldn't tell that the dough had lasted two weeks in my freezer and also, we are having it with yellow lentils from, again, the previous batch cooking video. I am so loving these yellow lentils. And some cabbage. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Give us a like if you feel like you liked it. And watch another video on this channel. So much to learn. And I will see you over there. Bye.